Hello guys, welcome to the next video tutorial on Java programming for beginners. And in this video, we will see what are arrays and how we can declare and use arrays in Java. Now, what is an array? An array is same as a variable, but it can store more than one values at a time. But the only condition with array is you need to store or you can only store same kind of uh, values in an array. For example, you want to store 10 integer in an array, you can do it. But you want if you want to store five integers and five double values, you can do not do it. So you can only store same kind of, uh, you know, data type in an array. So let's see how we can declare array in Java. It's very simple. You just need to uh, give the data type. First of all, for example, we want to create an integer array, then we give the data type and then we use these square brackets and then we give the variable name. For example, my int array. Okay. And then you can initialize this array in these curly braces and whatever comes inside these curly braces for example 1 comma 3 comma 2 comma 4 comma 5 these are the values or elements of the array so it can store multiple integer so we have stored right now five integers in this array right and when you compile it it will work fine there is other way of uh, declaring array and which is like this you just uh, use uh, your data type and then uh, my int array 2 for example and then you give your square bracket and then you can give values to the array and this will also work fine but it's not the preferred way of uh, declaring array so this first way of uh, declaring array is uh, preferred this is not preferred way of declaring array in java but it will work if you uh, want to declare it so we compile it and it will compile fine it will not complain okay now there are different ways of uh, declaring array uh, the most basic one is this one but uh, there are different ways of declaring arrays like this. The most uh, used ways of declaring array are these three ways. So first is whatever I have showed you here like this and which is like this, right? And you can declare an array like this integer square bracket and the name and is equal to new. Uh, we haven't learn what is new keyword uh, here so I will not go into deep in this and this kind of array this we will learn when we will you know learn how to use classes and objects so we will use this kind of array right now but I want to show you I wanted to show you that these uh, declarations are also possible right so now if you declare an array these are called the elements of the array and right now our array contains five elements and the index so the position at which these values are stored are called index and the index of the array if you think that uh, it will start from one it will not the index of an array start from zero so for example i want to print the value this one two for example so i can write system dot out dot print line and then in here i can print uh, my array like this and in the square bracket you can give the index so if you want to uh, print this two you may think that uh, the well, uh, the position is one, two, three, third position, uh, two is at the third position, 
and you can do it like this but when you run this program it will give you the value 4 which is this one so index of the array starts from 0 so 0 1 and 2 so the actual position of uh, this value is 2 and whenever you write index 2 it will give you the value 2 okay let's give take some bigger values 3 31 26 40 something and 52 okay and we want to print 26 here so the index of this is 0 1 2 so just write give write the name of your array and then is in square bracket the index of the array and it will print the index of the array like this okay so in this way you can access the value of array you if you want to access this 100 you can just write the position index 0 and then you can access the value 100 like this okay and if you want to print all the values in the array I have shown you how to use loops and using for example while loop you can print all the values in the array like this for example we want to print the value of all the elements okay so on the basis of uh, its uh, position you can do it for example I declare one more variable int i is equal to 0 which will be the index or let's name it as index of the array okay and if index is less than 5 right because 0 1 2 3 4 it will go up to 4 but as soon as it goes to 5 it will be exhausted right if index is less than 5 we want to print the value of the array so index we will paste it here instead of 0 and then we will increase the value of index by 1 every time in the loop and this when we run this program this will give you the value of this array like this you see all the elements are printed like using this while loop first is 100 second is 31 third is 26 fourth is 48 and fifth element is 52 okay but if you do something like this for example you change it to 6 but your uh, array value is 5 then it will give you an error because the last value it will try to access is not existing so it will give you some error so always remember what is the size of your array and depending upon the size of the array uh, you know consider making your program then it will not give an error right so size of an array is important uh, whenever you use the array so i hope you have understood the basic declarations and how to use arrays in java and i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now